This playthrough is rated E for everyone. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Follow right back here with another episode of Threads of Fate. In the last episode, we went to the we went to the forest to find Mel, and we found a very strange place with, you know, stars and bubble gums and uh, uh, mushrooms and lollipops and rainbows every day. Everything that's wonderful and something something. Anyway. We finished playing our games, we got to talk to Mel, who's a strange witch indeed. Not your standard witch, like the Wicked Witch of the West, but more of a Japanese version of a witch, it seems like. Well, actually, a Japanese version of a witch would be like a... Uh, well, I can't recall the name, but you, more of an anime version of a witch. There you go. Anyway, as we're leaving, we uh, need to get back to town, and we see this uh, star. Um, hey, dude, I can see you. I am a star. I am a star. You sound like most of the crazy actors. Uh, well, I guess you're not doing anything, so I guess I can leave you alone. All right. Anyway, we gotta find a uh, uh, do that thing for Mel, so we can uh, open up that box. So. Well, that was interesting. I don't know if Ru Rue saw it, but we did. Um, okay then? Anyway. Alright, well, let's see. Does anyone have any new dialogue? You're looking for Popple Pearl? He's probably in the forest. They like it there. No, well, I guess that's our next step. Any, any new upgrades before we go into the forest? Well, we had to go to the forest at some point. Oh, there's someone in here. Those hoodlums ripped me off. They made me buy the root of a tree. They completely fooled me! Saying it was herbal medicine. Hmm, I wonder. Uh, let's see. Whoops. Keep forgetting that sh cancels first. Okay. Nothing here. My numbers might be slightly off because I didn't have a good saving spot from the previous episode, so my, so my like, HP or magic might be a bit off. Not that big of a deal. And I'll have two less coins because I actually did worse at the mini games off screen uh, than I did before. Uh, I thought I'd do better than I, because I wasn't really, uh, um, because I wasn't, like, being, like, uh, like, distracted by, like, having to talk, but I actually didn't do much better, so <laughs> I actually did worse enough that I didn't get, because I think when I recorded it, I got, I, each of the mini games I got a bronze coin, you know, at least I got something, but when I replayed it, I only got one bronze coin, so, yeah, oh well, okay, nothing new from these guys, no new equipment. I bet the next chapter will be when we get some uh, new equipment. I guess we just need to go to the forest. It seems like we really don't have. You know, that seems like uh, seems like we're gonna be going to our next objective pretty pretty quickly, as opposed to the other one. And I don't have enough money to donate to get more coins. You know, I have still yet to look up a. Uh, a guide on this game, just for like, not not to like see what's up ahead or anything like that, but just to give me a rough idea of like what like sides, like side or, or um, side quest. Well, not side quest stuff. There's really no side quest stuff in this game, but like secrets and stuff like that I could show. But I saw I saw those hoodlums the other day. I'm gonna teach them a lesson for what they did to Lena. Oh yeah, the those weirdos. Man, eh, they're probably not a big deal. We can leave them alone. But you, I see you're looking for the Popple Pearl. They hate the Amarius, so I don't think you'll find them in a building or in the underground areas. So, the forest, then. Well, that one kid said so, too. It's nice to know that the scientist man can back me up. And then I guess Mint and Elaine are off doing their own thing, so I guess if you choose the Mint path, she probably ends up hanging out with Elena more often than, uh... She wants to say anything new. And I assume Rod doesn't have any... Because I thought at some point that Rod, uh, Rod gets new weapons, but I don't remember. Or, like, new fighting styles or some of that. Nah. I think maybe he'll say if his, if his weapons change or some of that. Or his fighting style or some of that. Because I could have swore I remember that, but... But, you know, it's been, like, like 18, 17 years since I last played this game, so... Alright, nothing else. Let's go to the forest, then. Uh... 
Well, they said the forest, so whoops. Might try the lakeside as well. <sighs> I keep forgetting that they put cancel first. Most games usually put the OK or next button first and cancel below. So for those who need to like speed run or go through a game or whatever, but I don't know how far we actually need to go before. Oh right, I forgot you could re-get old coins from old monsters or whatnot if you go through old areas, but not that I'm here to grind for coins or anything like that. I probably should switch to like like a monster of some sort just so I can get a None of these guys use magic. All right. I was about to say, while I'm here, I might as well uh, try to uh, spam magic so I can get a... Uh, uh, so I can, uh, you know, increase my magic stat a bit better, but none of the monsters I currently have use magic, so... And unfortunately, the weapons... Uh. <laughs> It's the what? It's those guys again. What are they up to this time? Huh? That kid. That's oh, Papa Piro. Yeah, keep dirty hand away. Could should do the Yoda voice for those guys. <laughs> the hell you calling me dirty? Actually, I forgot what voice I, I gave him now. The hell you calling me dirty? You better get down and apologize, or I'm gonna hurt you real bad. I'm not sorry. You're dirty. You stinky. <laughs> He's a total squirt. Hey, you stupid or something? Shut up. Yeah, that's the problem when you don't voice a guy for like two weeks straight. You forget what their voices were. I guess I could have watched my old videos, but man, who does that? Shut up. You shut up, you little maggot. I'm going to shut you up by chopping up that fungus head of yours. <laughs> Let's do it, bro. Teach him this. Knock it off. Not to mess with me. The who? Who the? Hey! Bro, it's him! That polywog! You're right. This is perfect. I've been dying to get even. Let's get him! Let's get him! Let's get him, Skeeter. Yeah! Alright, boss time against Smokey and Blood. It's gonna be just kind of a. Well, at least they're not as like intense as a uh, uh, Rod is. Although, Blood is, seems to be a bit more dangerous than, uh, than his counterpart. Oh, is he? Nope. Still got some more life left. I am letting myself get hit a little too easily, you know what I mean? Oh, come on! This might be bad, actually. I'm not doing so well. Oh, won't he let me jump up, huh? There we go, got one of them at least. Man, I wasn't doing too well that fight. But bro, I don't feel so good. Get up, you big tub of crap! She I need a new partner. Should have given him the southern voice. Hey, hey bro! Hey, bro, wait for me! So I guess you just have to knock out one of them to beat both of them. But yeah, I didn't do very good in that fight. I was getting, I was almost getting wrecked. You my life saver. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Mel asked me to find you. She's really worried about you. Come on, let's go back to her house. I okay. I go from by myself. And as long as you're not accosted by more bandits. What's your name? Rue. Rue, thank you. Bye bye. What a nice kid, thingy, popple pearl, whatever. It's getting late. I better head back to town. Do we auto go back to town? Yep. At least it's nice for the game to do that. Oh, nighttime. I wonder if there's any any uh, dialogue or if we just go straight to the end. Probably have to go. Looks like everyone's at, in bed, so. We're close. Please come back to Fonio. Tonio! Tonio! Oh, it's Tonio. Tonio's Pizza? Are you close to? Oh, no. I guess it makes sense. You guys need to be open being a bar or whatnot. But you have no one else in here except for me and the lovely Miss Annette. Uh, do you guys add anything new to the, like, a new dialogue? I would like to think so. Oh, anyone want to fight prize money? Oh, so that's how you find out about Rod. Huh. Well, when you, if you'd look at that the first time, you think that would just be background, like, a picture. You're just like, oh, okay, cool, whatever. 
Right, that picture of an Annette there or whatever. I don't know why I'm checking these. I guess I'm just seeing if there's any hidden dialogue or something like that. Stop the game. That's right, I forgot you could sell coins here if you really want to. Yeah, it's going to be till like, end of game stuff to where I can actually boost up my st stats like that. I think this... I'm trying to remember. I think this game does kind of have a new game plus because you have to... Spoilers, you get the... Uh, you can play through the game as uh, no vacancy, Lee Song. Uh, you get you can play as the, through the game as uh, Mint too to get the other side of the story. But we won't be getting to that for a bit, for a hot minute. Anyone actually out here? Doesn't look like it. I even I guess he went to bed. Makes sense. At some point, I'm gonna just stop checking the stuff and go from the next point to the next. If there's nothing to really, if there's no like extra dialogue or, 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 or send stuff around there. I mean, I guess it makes it easier because then, it, then I know there's not really much else to look and see. All right, check the, uh, it's too late. They're dead. No, <laughs> they're sleeping. Nice and Rod. Rod's asleep too. Oh, it's even all nice and quiet. Hello, Jim Bobs, or whatever your name is. It was a weird name, if I remember correctly. Hey, Rue, what's happening? Why don't you come and sit here with us? I guess I could have gone to the end, but I don't know, maybe we're supposed to go here. Rod. Yeah. Why do you make weapons? Dot, dot, dot. To leave my name in history. Just like my old man did. Old man? You mean your father, right? Yeah, my old man was a swordsman. He was the best swordsman in the world. Fought hundreds of battles in his life and never lost. The old man's gonna be a legend forever. You've heard of the great swordsman Pleskin, haven't you? The invisible, the invincible Pleskin? Yeah. Wow, he's your father? I trained like hell to challenge my old man someday. I wanted to beat him and take his title. I wanted to be hailed as the greatest swordsman. My dream never had a chance. My old man died before I could fight him. Now I can't ever surpass him. Dun, dun, dun. So I decided to take a different path and start making weapons. I want to create the best weapon someday and become the greatest weapon making swordsman. Well, uh, that's a big title. Let's see if you say something. Myself. That's how I want to go down history. Well, you're never truly forgotten if people can remember you. I see. I guess I talked a little too much. You've got to get up early tomorrow, don't you? Why? I mean, I mean, we're going to find the relic, but are we really on the clock? Or? Oh, no, Claire's in trouble. Never mind. Yeah, I guess we are. Better go back and get some sleep. Although, we've been doing this for three years ever since she got captured, right? So, what's a few more days? Okay. Good night, Rod. Or, good night, Rod. Yeah. All right, now back to the end because I don't think there's anything else here. You can probably go to some other places, but all right, it's late. You should rest. All right, it's right. You should rest. All right. Let's just go to the room and lay down. I saw you. Get back here. Hey, why are you running? Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. Claire, run! Wait, no! What a terrible dream. Claire, please come back. Well, that was fun. Back to the game. 
Oh yeah, now we need to go back to Mel's. So. Hey Rue, how are you? Oh, good. Alright, see ya. Alright. <clears throat> Anyone else I already knew? Probably not, but we'll double check with the townsfolk before we go. My grandpa told me something scary. He said there's a temple where there are ghosts and skeletons that move. Spooky scary skeletons? It's not... It's almost October, so I guess it counts. Spooky scary skeletons are shivering down my spine. Or something like that, anyway. Um... Uh, Ah, challenge. Ah, challenge Raw to a fight. It was a close one, but he beat me. Damn, if only I were ten years younger. Sorry. Sorry you're so old, dude. Now I'll check some obvious spots, and then we'll go on to the forest, because... Hey, Mira. I saw those two hoodlums crawl back to town. Somebody beat them black and blue. Yep, yours... Oh, I keep forgetting everyone has multiple dialogue options. What do you think of Mel's Atelier? I wish I could have seen your reaction. Mm, thanks. lady has been hanging out with Mint a lot lately. That <laughs> means less time she's been messing with me. Okay. But yeah, I, I almost forgot that everyone has, like, multiple dialogue boxes, so whoops. Sorry about that, folks. Hey, Klaus. I heard you found Papa Puro. So I guess you'll be heading back to Mel's Atelier. Yep. Those hoodlums were holding, holding the Papa Puro, right? They always up to no good. They sure are. Knowing Mel, she probably already done with your research on the cube. I heard you found the. Oh, okay. There's not got nothing to there. Yeah, this is what happens when you only record weekly. You forget like little minor details about what you can and can't do. You know, not that it's like some big, big thing. Just all right. Um, uh, well, it's. Rod's weapons aren't... I keep going to my southern voice. Rod's weapons are incredible. I don't think anyone else in this world could use them. I probably could if I were younger. Yeah, using two we two-handed weapons are uh, pretty hard to do. You have to be pretty good at balance. That's usually why most... If people use two-weapon fighting, they usually use a long weapon and a short weapon because that's easier to balance than uh, uh, anything else. So. All right, shop have anything new in the with the uh, thing change? Probably not. Yeah, I think so. I don't really need to sell for money right now. Uh, I doubt there's anything going to be there. I don't want to drag my feet too much, you know. Okay, I'm just... And they usually don't say anything anyway, so I'm going to call it a bust and uh, head on to the next objective. So as we turn around... There we go. Oops. Let's go back to the atelier. The strange, strange atelier. There we go. Alright. I wonder if that I wonder if that star dude's right there. No, I guess he's gone. Must have flown off like a like a like a breath in the wind. You know, he kinda now that I think about it, he kinda looks familiar. I don't know why, just something about his face. Nah, that's probably nothing. All right, nothing around here. I bet, I bet at later chapters you can come back to the Atelier and do those mini games again if you want. Come in. It's Rue. I think again. I'm happy to be home. Um, what voice did I give her? Did she give her a deep voice or no? Because I think the send the voice to that one girl. I did Irish voice for that one girl. Uh, did I give her the... Uh, Hello, Rue. I think I gave her the Valley Girl voice. Sweetie, can you go outside? I need to talk to Rue alone. No fair, not fair, not happy. But Mel say so, so I do. Do or do not, there is no try. Bye bye, Rue. We play again next time. No. I was about to make him a Yoda, uh, his voice like you. I'm so, I'm so glad you found him. Thank you. Are you done with the cube? Well, aren't we eager? Sorry, Rui's got got a lady and a relic to find, so or relic to find. Yes, I'm done accepting the cube. I've written everything in here. You're gonna read it when you get back to town. Bard Mel's report. 
Bard Cube. Roderick's Cube. Oh, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. I had some free time anyway. And the gratuitous underwear shot. Thanks, E, for everyone's game. Well, I guess that concludes our deal. Oh, there's something I've been wanting to ask you. Do you have a minute? Uh, sure. What is it? I guess I'll just come out and say it. Rue, you're not human, are you? Why does everyone keep saying that? That's rude, you know. Totally rude. Why? Why do you think that? How should I explain this? There's something about your spirit. Every human has but one spirit, but you? There's something odd about you. Well, I'm an EMC. We're supposed to be slightly odd, otherwise we'd be every other character in the game. I can see it. I can see your spirit and a shadow of another spirit. I've never seen anything like it in any human. Dot, dot, dot. Maybe I shouldn't have brought this up. I'm sorry if I offended you. It's okay. It's true. What? No, the fact you can change the monster? Nah. Hmm? Why'd you take off your hat? Got a bad case of hat hair? Okay, so you have a jewel in your forehead. I mean, people have done weird things with piercings before. You're right. I'm not human. Do you know who you are? Rue the... Not human? Five years ago, I awoke in some ruins. What the? Where am I? Can't remember. Is this a dream? Is this real life? Who am I? What's my name? What's my name? Toby. Ugh, my head. I have to go. Where? Somewhere, I don't know. I know I have to do something. I left the ruins and began wandering. I tried to remember where to go. I tried to remember what I had to do. I couldn't remember anything. I wandered aimlessly. when I met Claire. I was a complete stranger, but she was so kind to me. When she found out that I had no place to go, she told me I could stay at her home. I wandered alone for so long, and I finally found a home. Claire was like my sister. One night, he came. Run, Claire! Hurry! Wait! No! A Super Saiyan! Claire, please. Please open your eyes. He's gone. You can open your eyes. Claire, come on! Claire. Huh? Or exclamation point question mark. And she died. Sort of. 
I see. Clear spirit still works within you. Uh, for some reason, I thought like the the way that they described the opening scene that the dude with the hand captured her or something like that. So, see, I told you it's been a while since I played this game. You poor thing. You suffered so much. You can still can't let her go, can you? It's been three years already, but it still feels like yesterday. I couldn't do anything for her. That's why I need to find the relic. And I thought we were going to go a whole episode without mentioning a relic at once. There goes my hopes and dreams. No wonder you're so determined. The power of the Aeon relic can probably bring Claire back to life. I don't care how long it takes or how many battles I have to live or fight. I'm going to find the relic. No matter what. Just keep in mind that what you're trying to do is very dangerous. Before I told you, Valen's power may lead all of us to oblivion. Even so, if I can save Claire, the needs of the few, huh? What if it leads to world destruction? Millions of people may die. You don't care? Dot, dot, dot. There's still plenty of time. Think it over. Question mark. Pantomel! Wrong voice. Why are you in there? Who could that be? Er, who could that be? Really, let's continue some other time. Yeah, I wonder who the loudmouth princess is that's screaming at the other side of the door. Oh, hey, Polly. Great, is the, is the airhead patrol. I thought I'd see you here. I bet Mel told you a lot about the relic. Huh. Maybe she did. I knew it. It's written all over your face. Gosh, I'm good. I'm smoking. No. Didn't I tell you already? I'm a genius. You can't hide anything from me. Okay, let's have it. Come on. What did Rel tell you about the relic? I can't. Not now. What's wrong? Are you sick or something? Okay, fine. I'll pass by myself. Thanks, Elena. See ya. Bye. Are you alright? I'm okay. Really, I'm fine. Are you sure? You look a little down. Did Mel say something to you? What? Yeah, but no. You should stop talking. Seriously. No, she didn't say anything. She was very helpful. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna wait for Mint? No, she just needed help getting here, so I'm going home now. Okay, let's go back together. Okay, let's go, Polly. We made a serious mistake. I better explain to her again. You can explain it as many times as you want, dude. It ain't happening. Even this relic, the relic wouldn't even be able to fix air, that fix stupid, no, I mean airhead. <laughs> really? So then you're not a polywog? That's right, I can turn into one, but I'm not a polywog. I'm a human, with human needs, loves, wants. <laughs> what you see now is the real me, so from now on, can you just call me Rue? Okay, gee, gee, all this time, I had the other way around. I thought the poly turned into you, but as you turned into poly. How come you could transform? Mm -hmm. Um, that's kind of hard to explain. Is it your big secret? Ooh, you're going to leave me all curious all day. What am I supposed to say? I'm not human? I can't tell her that. It's that star again. Hey, there's something moving. Yeah, it is moving. Weird. What are you doing here, Duke? I knew it. Um, what? Man, this disguise was perfect. I can't believe you spotted me. It's so obvious. Land on on your way. You here? You know some too, right? No, not at all. Dot dot dot. Ugh. At least she's at least she's nice. See, you were just lucky. Okay, back to business. Give me the cube and the information you got from Fancy Mel. You'd better hand it over before you get hurt. No way. Hey, you still have my tiara. Give it back. I want to look all pretty and so witty. K 
can't fight me in... Uh, give it back. You can't fight me in that stupid costume. Shut up! I stayed up all night to making it! Oh, so he's a... a, a can also create clothes, too. He's a man of many talents. It was worth it. This is my finest act yet. So you're convinced that you're a star now? I'm not convinced. I am. So you're an actor or something like that? I am a star. I am a star. Behold. Whoa. That's impressive, actually. Wow. That's so pretty. Shooting star. Watch out. And faceplant. Boom. I bet you're scared now, huh? I'm starting like Duke. Okay, here comes the pain. Whoa, it's fighting time. It's time to shine, huh? Okay. Um, uh, I can't really hurt him. Oh, he, I can only hit him when he falls over. That's funny. Oh, what? He actually hurt me? That's funny. Well, this epic fight might take a hot minute, folks. So, in the next episode of uh, Threads of Fate, we'll beat Duke in a star form, and then help Elena get home, and then, uh, I don't know, uh, something about a relic or something like that. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.